We have a theme of revolution running through some of our reviews today. It's the right time of year for that. The Muni has also taken advantage of the season and presented the musical about the very origin of our 4th of July celebration, 1776. Sherman Edwards was a composer and jazz pianist who occasionally taught high school history as his day job. This inspired him to write songs for a musical about the signing of the Declaration of Independence, which was universally condemned as a terrible idea until playwright Peter Stone got hold of it and together they turned the terrible idea into a long Broadway run and a 1969 Best Musical Tony. At the Muni, director Rob Ruggiero and scenic designer Lou Cantarella placed the Philadelphia room where it happened in the middle of the Muni's new turntable. By rotating it, they could show us different aspects of the Congress as it met to debate independence, with room downstage for the occasional small scene away from the hall. John Lasseter's lighting helped with that, as did Greg Emetaz's video design, which included the lovely touch of showing on the big screen the signature of each member of Congress as he signed the declaration. Alejo Vieta designed the period costumes and Leah J. Lucas the essential powdered wigs with dramatic sound design by John Shivers and David Patridge. James Moore conducted the orchestra and occasional charming choreography came from Enrique Brown. Though we know the ending, 1776 manages to create plenty of drama from the conflicts as these men reach that happy conclusion. Robert Petkoff's John Adams was the indefatigable driving force and irritant for independence, and Jenny Powers, the wife back in Massachusetts, he longed for. Keith Hines Thomas Jefferson also longed for his Martha, charming Ali Ewalt. Ben Davis, as John Dickinson, led the conservative opposition in the almost fascist song, Cool, Cool, Considerate Men. Bobby Conte Thornton's Edward Rutledge spread the guilt for slavery over all with the powerful molasses to rum. And Alex Pracken, as the courier, sang the intensely moving Mama Look Sharp. Michael James Reed presided firmly over the debate as John Hancock, ably assisted by Gary Glasgow, as Congressional Secretary. Adam Heller was funny and wise as Benjamin Franklin. Ryan Andy sibulian Richard Henry Lee led the musical celebration of the Lees of Virginia, for which lyricist Edwards mined the dictionary for all words ending in Lee, successful Lee, and <laughs> delightful Lee. Successful and delightful were all in the large cast, and who knew? You really can make a splendid musical about the signing of the Declaration of Independence. The musical is splendid, the production was splendid, and my what range Ben Davis has to be Sky Masterson and then uh, John Dickinson. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Let's hear some of that music. Hey there. Does anybody care? Does anybody see what I see? I see fireworks. I see the pageant and pomp and parade. I hear the bells ringing out. I hear the cannons roar. I see Americans, all Americans for 